I'm back again. You can't get rid of me. Imagine how the people who do my classes feel. It's almost like I'm an obsessive stalker. But I just, well, I was going to put this on my blog. And if I just put it on like this, it's not animated, is it? It's not it's just flat, really. So I thought I'd just do a couple of little stitches on it. Um, I don't know. What can I say? I like making videos. I put this together this morning. When I got up this morning, um, I'm getting my friends coming this afternoon with her baby granddaughter. So I'm thinking, I've been doing so much housework. There's nothing for me to do housework wise. And I'm not one for just sitting and stitching through the day. Um, I like to be doing more than that. So I got up and I wanted to doodle on some cloth. So I doodled on this bit of white cotton. It's very, very basic. And I may come back and draw some more on that as I'm working on this, I don't know. But I doodled on a piece of white cotton about that big and then I cut it up to make it into, I don't know if it's, I mean, are you sick of pouches? Uh, what else am I going to make? Um, I'm, with my next class, I'm going to make pockets, big pockets, little pockets, tiny pockets with doodled cloth, etc. But for now, I'm resisting the urge to, to move into that and to get engrossed in that because I don't want to share anything on my blog that I'm going to be doing with that class. So in the meantime, I'm just making pouches. But this pouch, I've been thinking, might be a pouch with a pocket. Because this is a pin cushion that I made in a, the pin pillow class. And it's a pin cushion this end, and this end, there's a pocket in it. So that this may morph into something like that. Um, I don't know yet. So I've put it all together. I've got some cord in there with Brodery on glaze wrap around it in that seam to give it a bit of added texture. And then it's just doodled plain doodled and broderie on glaze so all i'm going to do this morning because i'm not going to be on here for hours because i've got a baby coming to the house and i'm very excited uh, i'm just going to do a couple of little stitches in here to see how i may approach this embroidery wise and i'm thinking colored thread so i've got my stranded cottons i pinned it first you've got a picture i think with the pins in and then i tacked it or basted it and took the pins out so I've got some colours here, but first of all I'm going to do some white ones. Um, white French knots. Find the end. And then add just a little couple of coloured ones to see, because hopefully that'll lift it. Um, just think the white gives a good base, like a, a, a substantial body to the piece. I'm not in the mood for fiddly faddly trying to thread needles, so I'm using one with quite a big eye that I wouldn't necessarily use if I wasn't uh, doing this on camera. If I was sitting of an evening doing this, I'd probably find try and find the finest one that I could. But I really don't think this video should be taken up with me trying to thread needles. Okay, so quite a big eye, but a sharp needle. I'll put a knot in this. And I'm kind of going to offset them. I'm not going to do them in the space that's there, in the petal space that's there. So I'm going to kind of start at the edge of a petal and scatter it outside, not scatter it, um, extend it outside the petal. So if I say do five in white, one, two, three, so I mean I'm champing at the bit for this next class um, and really I'd be happy if I was starting it this Monday not a week on Monday but I can't because I've got visitors coming tomorrow and I've got visitors coming next week and um, my daughter's coming home for a couple of days next week so I can't do it until I can't start until the 25th but I'm also trying my very best not to give anything away on my blog because obviously I want to keep some stuff class so fasten that off and then I'll change I'm going to leave that thread in that needle because with cotton abroad it's easy to lose the strands if you cut them off so again I don't know that I've got that's quite a big eye so I'll use a little bit of this pink which is coming to the end of the card but I do think I've got some more I always separate my strands when I'm using stranded cotton before I thread the needle. If you've done my class, you'll know why. Um, but it just helps the thread lie better. It gives it a more professional finish. 
to separate them and then rejoin them before you thread the needle and oh I didn't struggle with that so I'll put a knot in that as well and then I'm going to do three pink ones on there and then just one green one and I'm trying very hard not to give kind of like a lesson here because there's some things I would say about this process if it was a class that I'm not going to say today but it is hard to stop myself um, so just three French knots in here and already I love it just that tiny little bit of stitching so the thing that was in the video yesterday I progressed that quite well last night um, but you won't be seeing that tomorrow because tomorrow I finished the silk pouch, the blue and white silk pouch. That'll be on tomorrow. Um, I just want to take pictures of it because somebody's asked if they can buy it, but they haven't seen it in a finished state. So I want to take pictures of it and send the pictures to them to see if they still want to buy it. And then if they don't want it, um, for whatever reason... I mean, it's okay for people to ask me things like that and then change their mind, I don't mind. But for whatever reason, then I can put it on my blog tomorrow and put it in the shop at the same time. So that's what's going to be happening tomorrow. So that's three pink and just one green. So again, I want two strands. And these have been cut before and used before, but I'll still separate them. This is six-stranded cotton. Um, and I've taken these off the six before and used them before. But stitching with it twists it, so it's still better to separate oh, I've made a right pig's ear or not. I thread this needle. Uh, never use a needle threader. I've got a, a pleating machine and I use a needle threader for that because there's loads of needles on that. But it's just perseverance and I find that if I'm threading needles off camera, I do it first time. For some reason, even though I can't see you, you make me nervous, so... Or maybe it's because I'm trying to be more deliberate, I don't know, I'm less relaxed, right? So, and then just a green one, just snuggling near those pink ones, just to give the impression of a flower. There, and that's it. Now, I do love that. I do love it, and it's going to be hard for me not to just race ahead with this and leave the other one from yesterday but the other one from yesterday I've got big plans for that too so at least I'm going to have plenty to keep me going never let it be said that there's nothing to stitch at Rouen Towers because there's always something to stitch at Rouen Towers and so I'll just put that needle away and wrap this green back on the card and then I'll turn it over and you can see it and I'll turn off and I'll take a picture of it for the vlog, okay. So that was probably quite quick, eight minutes or whatever. So there, I'll pull it and I hope it doesn't blur. But it's just, I mean obviously there's not just going to be that on there. But that approach to the embroidery I think is going to work for me. And I've got all these seams to do on the whole thing. Okay, so no video tomorrow and probably not on Saturday. Because I've got, like I say, I've got visitors coming. Um, so, pass. I don't know when your next video will be. But I hope you enjoyed that anyway.